What you got there? I don't know, man, but he feels good. He feels uh, better than some in the past. Look, hear that line. Yep. Uh, we just set up in about five minutes ago, and this rod went down pretty good. I think this may be a PB. We'll see. Yep, we just got to get past, what, 23? Yep. Yeah, he's picking up a little. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is your PB. Oh, uh, yeah. He closed. So look, I think so. We'll see here. Hey, if he's 25, I'm good. That was five minutes in the water. Oh, yeah, he's got a big head. That'll be right around. Uh, it'd be close. We'll see here. I'm guessing at least 25 just by the... Oh, yeah, that's bigger than that. He's hooked well. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go and get the net, All and right. we'll be back. All right, so before I show you guys the clip of the 74-pounder, I just wanted to give you a background on this fish. Uh, one is I could not get the battle on film just because I didn't have my GoPro and uh, I was using my iPhone to get clips here and there of my client Mark catching some fish. So, and it was a very chaotic situation because we were anchored in a down tree, rod went down pretty hard and started peeling so much drag like it probably took uh 20 seconds or so of that fish to finally just calm down and you know how it is when you're fishing down trees sometimes you get them out of the tree and then other times they they hunker right down in there and you can't get them out whatsoever so i handed off the rod to mark and he was able to reel down on him a little bit um, but then eventually everything just stopped. It was like, we could not get any ground on this fish at all. So I ended up pulling up the anchor and we pretty much just drifted down a little bit until we got right near the tree and I dropped my trolling motor and we were able to kind of move up and down, work the line out of the tree as best as we can. And then after like 10 to 15 minutes of doing that, we were able to see the fish about four to five feet under the water. And it was like, oh my gosh, this, this fish is a, is a giant. And I thought to myself, okay, this is probably 60 to 70 pounds. Uh, definitely the biggest fish in a long time that I've had come in the boat. And uh, we were like, okay, okay, here's what we need to do. Uh, you know, cause Mark, my client, he is a, uh, he's a retired firefighter. So we kind of went into search and rescue mode here and uh, I ended up parking my boat in the tree and was able to kind of keep us there. And I gave him my emergency oar and he was able to kind of break away the branches uh, kind of one by one. It wasn't easy because I had to keep us really there. And keep and keep in mind that the current was like at fifty one thousand cfs, so that's a that's a pretty strong current. And uh, but we were able to see the fish, and it was like, oh my gosh, it's like right at our fingertips of getting this fish out. And not to mention that, you know, the line was just so uh, tight and tense on the tree it was like it could pop any moment so you can just imagine all the frustration the emotions and just the excitement all at the same time but after about 45 minutes guys we were able to get the fish loose and net the fish and bring it in the boat so i actually tried weighing the fish uh with my scale and actually <laughs> pulled my lower back just a little bit and uh but i wasn't able to see uh the scale because the glare of the sun and everything was in the way so i ended up having mark uh you know lift it up and it came to be right under 75 pounds so and then we measured it it was uh 55 inches in length with a 33 inch girth so not as filled out as i would have liked it to have been um but 
it, 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 it was massive. So the measurements came out to be like 74.86 pounds when you do the fish formula, length times girth times girth divided by 800. Um, but definitely a fish of a lifetime, a new personal best for him. And I'm just glad that given that the odds were against us, that we were able to get this fish in. Um, I really wish I would have gone on video for you guys. I'm sorry, but, you know, sometimes I just don't bring my GoPro out when I do these guide trips. Um, and I'll just use my iPhone. But I hope you guys enjoy the clips here. Um, and then we also have a flathead coming up for you where Mark caught his first flathead as well. So I'll go and show that to you guys right now. Enjoy. All right, guys, we just put in a massive giant. I can't tell you all the chaos that went in with this fish. I mean, it was caught in a tree. We had to break the tree limber um, or the limb just to get this fish out. I'm sorry I could not get on video. I had to wiggle my way into the tree with my boat. But, guys, we just put in a freaking monster. I mean, it's got to be in the 70s. I mean, I... Jeez. We won't know until we know. <laughs> we'll be back. Ooh, it's so hard to see with my... Oh, because of the, the glare? Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have you do this. All right. I'm... Uh, gonna, I'm gonna, look, you're going to show the screen towards me. Okay. And then you're going to do what I'm doing. With your legs. As long as the fish is off the ground. Okay. okay? All right, we'll switch here. Seventy-four. 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 We just put in a seventy-four pounder. We did the measurements. Fifty-five inches 55? in length. Yes, yeah, fifty-five inches in length with what was the girth? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thirty-three. Thirty-three. Something like that. All right. Can you get him? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hold up. I'm laughing too hard. Come on. <laughs> Hold on, old man here. Ooh, yeah, that's a. I, I don't know if I'm gonna get him any higher than this. That's a giant, dude. All right, let's do a few more pictures and then we'll release him. Mark, I want you to tell us about the fight and what we had to do to get this fish in. Well, if you listen to my respiratory rate, that should tell you. It was <laughs> we. We probably almost lost this fish 10, 12 times. Guys, I could not get that on video because I was having to maneuver the boat quite a bit, but this and this, fish, this is because of Joe, by the way. This, he maneuvered the boat the only way we could have caught this. Only way. It got us, it ran us right into the tree. I mean, we could not slow him down with the fish this size using 40 pound main line. There's no way you can just put the brakes on that fish. Um, but guys, this is a monster. Look how long he is. God, he is long. That's, that's the freaky thing, yeah. All right, let's put in tail first. Do not let go of its mouth yet. You're going to have to revive this fish a little yeah, bit. And watch those fins because they can break off. I can help you. There you go. Oh, geez. it's fine. It's fine. She's good. Wow, that's a tough fish. Well, he's still kind of hanging, but he's, he's upright. He's upright. She's going. Yep, there she goes. How strong does a fish have to be to be out of water for... 10 minutes or That's whatever. fine. We'll keep an eye on her here. If she starts to come back up, then we'll... We'll revive her even better, but I think she swam she's off. Of Joe, you're the man. <laughs> you're the Dude, man. that's a hug fish, man. That is a, yeah, that's a, that's a hug fish. A hug and maybe a couple tears in the corner of your eye. Yeah, right. Good job. This is fish number four. Small guy, we think. Oh, yeah, he's he's got to be small. I'm hoping this is a flathead, though. Yeah, I can accomplish it. Couple bucket list items here today. Yeah, he's never caught a flathead. Mark hasn't. Where are you? Oh. Yep, flathead. He's well, small, he's but he's a cute little guy. But it's he's a, good, a cute little guy. It's good. Good way to start my flathead. Uh, yeah. Nice. They're cool, aren't they? They are. They. I think they're the best looking catfish of the of the bunch there we go yeah look at a little spotted yes sir corner or circle hook right in the corner of the mouth 
That's awesome. Are we netting or are we just gonna? I'll, I'll um. Want to just hoist them? In? I'll get them with my hand here. Hold it up for the camera. That's a nice flathead. Hey, for my first, it's uh, it's a start. Today's been a day of firsts. Yep. <laughs> All right, send her back to the depths. All right, let's let's let her go and grow up. Grow up. Oh yeah, she's. Give us a little splash to, to say thank you, Nux. Boom. All right. Awesome.